Well, I've just run 6.6 something miles, which is over 10K. I had two pauses to tie my shoelaces for less than 10 seconds. I ran the whole lot. And I've done it all on my own without any training, professional training, any kind of real preparation, apart from obviously walking and running and any kind of support or egging on. I did 5K sometime last week and I've just ran well over 10K non-stop. About 10, nearly 11 pace, uh, what's that? 11 minutes per mile or something. I'll, the first screenshot that you're going to see is me walking uh, this morning. Oh yeah, by the way, this morning into this afternoon, I walked over nine miles today and uh, it's about, what time is it? Half past nine at night and I've just finished over 10K. At the beginning of this year, I was borderline approaching obesity. I weighed at least 14, maybe 14 and a half, possibly even close to 15 stone. I don't know what that is in pounds or kilograms. You'd have to work it out. Now, I weigh less than 75 kilos and I can run over 10K on an evening and walk over nine miles in the morning. So anything's possible guys and I've done it all on my own so I think it's time to do a charity run 10k charity run <sighs> why not and I'd like to thank everybody that's ever met me because I feel like I've actually achieved something today and yeah and I'm sorry if I've uh, what am I sorry for? I don't know. I feel pretty good right now. Anyway, onwards and upwards. You can do this. You, if I can do this, you can do this. I'm 35 years old. 15 years ago, on a Friday night, at this time, I would have been getting wasted. Properly wasted by now. I'd be well on my way. And instead, 15 years later, I'm walking, hiking, over nine miles in the morning, stroke afternoon, and uh, running 11, uh, 10k on an evening. And I'm not bullshitting you. The first screenshot, I'm gonna make a video out of this. It will be the screenshot from my app, uh, showing the nine mile walk, hike, with the elevation and everything. <coughs> and the second screenshot, will be uh, at the end of the video after me talking showing all of the um, details of what I've just achieved right now god I need a shower uh, if you if you want to send this video to somebody who's thinking about losing weight or achieving something um, or running for charity then please send it uh, yeah and thank you I'm high. <laughs> okay, um, so I've had a shower and um, one of my favourite bands of all time is playing in the background. Well, I say band, they're more of a duo, electronic duo, Orbital, alive from uh, one big, big weekend in Ireland. So, uh, what you've just seen is a video of me uh, finishing 10k and what, right at the end I said uh, I'm high uh, that's because I was naturally high I did have a cup of coffee before I set off which had two teaspoons full of granulated instant freeze-dried coffee in them um, and that's it I'd, I, um, I had about a 45 minute nap this afternoon and I had a shower before I left and I've just had a shower now I'm still cooling down uh, but when I said I was high, I meant just naturally off what I'd achieved and the endorphins.
just to get things straight, um, I'm not on uh, any energy drinks or performance enhancing substances, anything like that. Uh, also, I wanted to clear up uh, my pace. Is it was 10, 10 minutes 52 seconds per mile. The the um, total distance achieved in miles 6.68. Duration one hour 12 minutes and 33 seconds. 856 calories burnt. So that's the 10k uh, run. It's actually more than 10k. Um, also, uh, I began to say sorry. Um, and then I stopped myself and said what I'm sorry for. Just, uh, you know, if anybody's watching this that knows me from my past or their past or anything, and I pissed them off in any way, my apologies for that. I know I've already kind of been over that ground before, but um, yeah, I don't know how much I weighed at the beginning of this year, but it was definitely over 14 stone, and I'm definitely under 12 now, I reckon, or around about 12, or under 75 kilos. Um, yeah, I started running, jogging, walking about end of March, mid to end of March. So you've got half of March, the whole of April, and the most of May. So you're talking about three months maximum. It's taken me to get to the point where I can now continuously run. I say run, it's more like jogging. Well, the pace is 10 nearly 11 minutes a mile so if you can call that running there we go I did stop two times for less than 10 seconds to tie my shoelaces maybe it was only six or seven seconds but I was really quick and I picked up a couple of snails as well and took them in the gardens uh, but that only took a second or two uh, yeah um, so this is achievable this is realistic and achievable um, I'm at a fitness level now with stamina where I can achieve this and uh, I really did walk and hike mixture of mostly walking some hiking with an elevation climb of at least 800 foot this this morning stroke this afternoon nine miles and I had a, a 45 minute um, rest and I've done three sets of five chin-ups reps um, oh, and I did 35 press-ups this morning as well so yeah um, you can you can do this and uh, I think you should share this video for anybody who's thinking about losing weight or um, getting out of an unhealthy li lifestyle. I hardly drink anymore. I gave up smoking three years ago. Um, I only go out maybe once every two or three months at the very most. Um, I don't eat hardly any meat anymore. I think the last meat I had was two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Um, yeah it's uh, it's really good and I feel great I feel mentally more um, equipped to deal with things as well as, as physically even my interaction with people and it's funny because people that I don't even know I know I've lived in this town for quite some time but people I don't even know have started waving at me and, and nodding at me and acknowledging me because I must be um, more brighter and giving out more um, positive vibes uh, even my neighbour, one of my neighbours, the guy who has the um, barber shop downstairs, I spoke to him for the first time in about four years, which was great, you know, because it's not nice having this um, animosity coming from me, because then it also stops people from, what do you call it, interacting with you. Um, so I strongly urge and encourage people to, um, to get into fitness and getting outside. And meeting people uh, yeah and asking forgiving yourself for things and uh, asking others for forgiveness if you like if you you know you feel you need it um, yeah so I want to do a 10k run for charity now uh, I don't know which charity maybe it's Alzheimer's um, we'll see maybe it's dementia um, I don't know Parkinson's maybe We'll see. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm waffling now. Is there anything else I've said in the video? Yeah, just thank you for for all the people that uh, was nice to me on the internet and my YouTube subscribers and anybody who's ever um, tried to help me in my life that I haven't always recognised as help. 
uh, thank you and sorry to you for not recognising it and um, thank you for trying to help me. And all the people who have wronged me as well, I completely forgive you, absolutely. And I also want to say thank you for the encouragement because um, whether it was <laughs> whether it was intentional or, intentional or not, you encouraged me to achieve something. Uh, so the next the next steps for me for now, I reckon, is a charity run, um, possibly part time employment again, maybe just even voluntary work in a charity shop. Uh, my degree, which I'm well on my way with now, everything's going to schedule. Um, I do my degree in psychology. Um, yeah, getting better at DJing and practicing. Um, uh, yeah, and rekindling some friendships with people that I'd uh, kind of long forgotten about and had for probably forgotten about me. Anyway, I'm, I'm really am waffling now. So yeah, um, keep it real and uh, peace and respect to you all.